Today's episode, we're going to talk about finishing the round chairs that I spoke about in a previous clip. What we have here is mahogany, Cuban mahogany, and beautiful South American mahogany. And my finish preference for this is very simply one of the great old finishes in history, shellac. Let me show you what I use here. You can melt your own shellac, you can uh, get your own flakes, melt them, and, or you can buy it already pre-mixed. And this is a great new product on the market that is wax free. It's actually blonde shellac if you buy it in the flakes. And I'll show you, uh, it comes out, it's just, let me get a rag to show you. It's almost clear. It's got a little bit of a amber tint, but not quite enough. For dark woods like mahogany and walnut, I like to add a little bit more amber tint and be closer to what used to go by uh, orange shellac. If you can find orange shellac, that's great. But to add that amber to this wax-free shellac, I'll put a few drops of this trans tint, which is orange shellac trans tint, into, uh, into a, a jar with it, and I'll get a bit more amber in it. And that's pretty, you can see that looks just like the old orange. So creating orange shellac out of blonde shellac that has wax free properties to it. Now the reason I care about it being wax free is these chairs will be covered with two, three, three coats of this shellac which will be cut down to about a pound and a half to two pound cut and then the last coat will be one coat of lacquer which will give it a little more durability, protective nature. And when you add that lacquer on top of shellac you want to be sure it stays and sticks hard so to have it wax free you're guaranteed of that. Let me show you the equipment I use. Very simple, inexpensive gun. It's a gravity feed gun. I just pour the shellac in the top and I adjust so I get a nice fan pattern here and you can spray at low pressure with this high volume low pressure gun HVLP and when I spray the chair I'm just going to overlap in full overlap steps. Let's take a look. I'll do the bottom rail here. Nice. Isn't that beautiful? Lo I never get tired of looking at that Cuban mahogany. Let me show you. I'm going to do the whole back of a chair now. So here we go. 